Hi, I'm Marge Kinney, and welcome to the Marge Kinney Art Show. Today we're going to do something special. We're going to work with the black sponge brushes, which I'll show you more about in a minute. But I was out in my garden this morning, and I have the most beautiful, glorious garden of these huge yellow irises, and lilies as well. So I thought I'd make a painting with these and show you at the same time how sponge brush painting works. The paintings behind me are all made with a sponge brush and so that's what we'll start with and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Enjoy! Alright, this painting today will be made with these brushes. You can buy these at any builder's store or anywhere where they cover, cover paint um, or they sell paint and I'm going to start out by pouring some white paint and gold paint on the undertone that I've already done with just a uh, primary red. All right, here we go. Now you won't see much of the red, but enough of it will show through. It's kind of a rosy color. Enough of it will show through that will make it very nice. So that's all we're trying to do here. Doing a little bit of a cross hatch here. I'm not trying to make a notice, I'm not coming down with one full swoop. Just a lot of little short strokes, like it's weaving. I like this big sponge brush because it's larger than any paint brush would be, and it does a nice job of covering an area completely. It's pretty. Well, that looks good to me. <laughs> okay. It's okay if this is wet because I want it to more or less mix in with the gold. I don't need to have solid white. It's okay if I'm doing this so lightly across here, it's just like just slightly dragging it with a very light touch. While I haven't uh, put varnish on these, this method would also be pretty with the resin if you wanted to do that. Okay, that gives me my basic undertone for my for my picture. Now just for the fun of it, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to come back with a little bit of gold on that white. A little bit of gold with a little bit of white in it, and grab a stencil. I'm gonna put the stencil right here. It doesn't, it's not that we're looking for something that has a lot of stuff on it. We're looking for just a little variation in the fabric. All right, now I don't know that you can see it, but there's a very fine, beautiful decoration right here in the middle. It adds definition to it and I'm going to come back and I'm going to get just a little bit of yellow ochre
Okay, that will be my basic. I'm going to add just one more little thing here and there. You know, in a garden, there's little lights of color. It's amazing. If you look through a tree, if you ever look through a tree, and you can see little sparkles of light, you say, how did that get there? How did they do that? Well, they, it's just, that's what pictures are. I mean, paintings in, in real life is. It just has little colors. Just makes this more interesting than trying to spatter paint later. Okay? All right, that'll do that. Okay, now I'm looking at these flowers. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some of my darker color, because I want to go with darks first, and then I will use the lights. Now this is kind of fast, so keep your eyes open. Here we go. I come down with the edge of my brush, down like this, and there you go. Just like that. Now add a little bit of color to it, because if you noticed, leaves have all kinds of color to them. And they usually are a little bit darker at the base because they are towards the ground. Okay, 